One character flaw led me into entomology. That was this paralyzing fear of insects. I go out of my way to avoid crossing paths with a caterpillar, call my big brother in to dispatch them. And when I got to college, I was a declared biology major, and literally the only course that fit my schedule was one called terrestrial arthropods. So I thought, maybe if I take a course, I'll learn which ones I should be afraid of. Well, by the end of the semester, I was pretty much convinced I wanted to be an entomologist. An inventive entomologist, May Berenbaum's ride take on her career is only partially tongue-in-cheek. In graduate school, uh, I started a project on um, a particular interaction between one insect and one plant. Um, I was afraid to drive, and I had to find a system that was within walking distance. And literally across the street, I came across a field of wild parsnip, and feeding on the wild parsnip was a little caterpillar called parsnip webworm. And I realized this was an ideal system for pursuing some of the very questions that were central to chemical ecology at the time. And I'm still working on that same interaction. Her discoveries have enabled us to understand the evolutionary dance between plants and the insects that feed on them, and shown that one species can profoundly influence another at the genetic level. Studying this system led us into all kinds of bigger environmental issues. Because she focused on insect genetics, she was asked to work on honeybee genes. We have worked for many years on P450s, the enzymes that most aerobic organisms use to process foreign substances, including phytochemicals and pesticides. And one of the big revelations was the surprising finding that honeybees have only one third to one half the number of cytochrome P450 genes than other insect genomes. Her work proved unexpectedly timely when colony collapse disorder began to make headlines and she was called upon to unravel the complex threats to honeybees. I'm an enthusiastic, very vocal supporter of basic research. Its value doesn't have to be immediately apparent, because it will come in useful someday. An advocate for insects of all stripes, Berenbaum's wildly popular Insect Fear Film Festival has helped others catch the bug for more than 30 years. Insects are an integral part of life on planet Earth. It really is Im impossible for humans to live an insect-free existence, and the Earth would be a dismal place without them. 